Hello, well, my name is Neil Forbes, I'm, I'm the secretary of Per Show. I uh, get the joy of putting all of this together. This year we're having 150 David and Lightland horses. And then we will have tomorrow where we've got uh, two national shows for cattle. We've got the Aberdeen Angus show and we've got the Hereford show. Uh, we also have the Donkey Breed Society of Scotland's national show as well. So we're beginning to get very popular with all the different breeds of animals for them to hold the national shows with us. On top of all that, we've got a normal uh, classes in all the beef and in the commercial classes of cattle, and as well as we have uh, phenomenal numbers of sheep in, uh, tremendous numbers of goats, uh, and the donkeys, as I've already said, they're, they're here for the national show. I'm now joined by one of our favourite interviews. It's Gavin Davy from the Scotland's Charity Air Ambulance. Hello, Gavin. Hi, good to How, see you. And good to see you as well. How's Perth show for you today? It's been really good. Uh, we had a good day yesterday uh, and today as well. We've been engaging with lots of people who we can help around Perth and Kinross, uh, in particular farmers, the agricultural community. We want to engage with them to see how we can best help them uh, with agricultural accidents and, uh, and get their guys to hospital much, much quicker than by a land ambulance. So we want to do meetings, workshops, whatever, uh, to, see, to see things from their perspective and see how we can help. And how is the fundraising going so far? It's going well. It's going well. Uh, we've got a work to do. Um, we've got some other ones that are just there or thereabouts. So uh, we're optimistic, but we've got some hard work to do on the fundraising. So what else have you got coming up? What else exciting is going on for the ambulance? A lot of events. Uh, we're at Abbeyfeldy next week. Uh, we're not at the Kilt Run, but there are people running for us at the Kilt Run. We're at the air show at Lukers. We're taking the aircraft down there as well to be on standby at Lukers. And, uh, and we're just waiting for Mission 100. A huge milestone in the next few weeks, Mission 100. That's great. And towards the end of September, it's National Air Ambulance Week. So, what can people do to help? I'm now joined by Alan, who's here with Bin Skips, who is the major show sponsor for Pear Show. Alan, have you enjoyed the show today so far? Very much. And what's your favourite thing about Pear Show? The people. <laughs> in the show and the public. That's good. Tell us a bit about Bin Skips. Bin Skips is a business that was started 12 years ago as a family business. We one employee and we now employ over 100 people. Um, expanding local pear share business, um, grown greatly over the, the, the diversification of waste from landfill site and um, just a great team of guys working for us that really in, in, like the business and enjoy it. Do you think you'll be the main sponsors again next year? Well, we'll be here for the foreseeable future. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for talking to us today. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Jane Smith here, Scottish Property Centre in Perth. Absolutely delighted to be at the Perth show for the first time. Great business coming through the door. It's been fantastic and the weather stayed good for us too. I'm Kate Hamilton. I'm convener of Perth show committee for the WRI. Our star for the year is Alison. Uh, Alison Messenger comes from Glenfire Rural and she's been a stalwart of Perth show for about 25 years is it Alison? Must be 25 years. That you've, anyway. you've helped at the actual show. Uh -huh. she, she got first for her Flutie Dumpling, best in show and um, the best in sections four, and, uh, one, two, and three for the Flutie Dumpling. And you got the, the baking section and the handicraft section, the best in show. Yes, uh, and the, a special trophy for the Flutie Dumpling as well, Mrs. Thompson Salva. Uh, so um, we're absolutely delighted for Alison and I think she has herself too. Yes, so I am. <laughs> I'm now joined by Wendy from Curves. Wendy, what are you doing today at Perth Show? Hi, we're promoting our summer offer, which is six weeks for just 39, telling all the ladies of Perth about Curves and how we help strengthen women. We've also got our shoulder press machine over here, which we're challenging the public, men and women, to see how many reps they can do in just 30 seconds. So tell us a bit about Curves. What is Curves exactly? Curves is designed especially for women. It features a complete 30 minute workout um, and it helps burn body fat. So we recommend that you come just three times, three half hours a week. Um, there's no men. Uh, it's all laid out for you. A circle of 12 hydraulic resistance machines. You come in at any point of your day, join the circle, go round it twice and that's it. Job done. It helps you burn body fat and lose inches. Hi, uh, I'm Gareth Edwards. I'm here from Perth Gospel Hall, uh, which is up on Hunting Tower Road in Perth. 
and uh, we're just here today just to uh, tell people a little bit more about the Gospel Hall, invite people to come along to any of our services uh, and just to point people to the Lord Jesus Christ and to tell them a little bit about the message of the Bible. I'm now joined by Murdo Fraser. Murdo, what are you doing today at Perth Show? Well, as a local member of the Scottish Parliament, I come along to the Perth Show every year. It's a great chance to, to meet constituents, to, to meet people from local organisations and just be part of the mix that's going on here in the, the city of Perth. Uh, we're also here as part of the Better Together campaign. We've got a very important referendum coming up in September next year on Scotland's place in the United Kingdom. Better Together is a, a cross-party uh, campaign uh, supporting uh, Scotland remaining part of the UK. So we're here with a presence, getting the message out, getting the argument out, answering people's questions on why we think Scotland's better off remaining as part of the United Kingdom. I'm now joined by Mr John Swinney. Mr Swinney, what are you doing here today in Perth? The Perth Show is a very important event in the agricultural and community calendar within the city. So it's really important to be here. I was here on Friday to visit all the business stands and to have a chance at a more leisurely pace to get around all the companies that are here. And it's a great business turnout and today I'm here with the Yes Stand, uh, the Yes Scotland Stand. It's setting out the arguments why Scotland should be an independent country, answering people's questions and uh, discussing the whole issues about why Scotland will be better off as an independent country. I'm now at the Perthshire Rugby Tent where there's been a challenge on today and we're joined by Alistair Dickinson, a prop for Scotland rugby team. How did you get on with the challenge? I wasn't too bad. I was three shy of the, uh, of the record so uh, so you didn't manage to beat the record, okay, nice. oh dear. Point, and it wasn't a child that holds the record, was it? I'm not actually too or sure. Or a woman? <laughs> I think it might be another rugby player, so I'll take that. Also, you'll take that, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So is this the first time you've been to Perth Show? Uh, no, I've been to Perth Show a few times. I'm a semi-local from that day, so uh, I've made the trip a few times before. And Rory, you're from Perth Show Rugby Club, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the uh, DO at, at the club, so I've come down to with a lot of the players to, to, to get to get some, try and get some folk in, get the get the, some interest in the club and, and rugby in general as well. Brilliant. How's that gone? It's gone really well. We've got lots of uh, lots of contact details and stuff, and we had good good buy-in from the, the folk around to come and have a shot, have some fun playing the game. So, and uh, we, I think it was the top score over the over the whole weekend was was today as well. So, and uh, unlike Alistair, I had a shot left-handed, so now I'm, 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 I'm still doing all right. Good afternoon everyone. I don't know about any of you, but I've been at the Perth show all day today. It's been wonderful weather. It's been a bit breezy, but I'm in the SWRI tent at the moment. And I have had scones and pancakes and the raspberry jam and the cake. It's absolutely wonderful. So if you're at the show, get yourself in here just now. It's a wonderful day out. There's lots of families here. And I even judged the, um, the children's pet competition this afternoon. I'm a trustee of the Perth City Market Trust, which has been formed in order to take a long lease from the Perth and Kinross Council to transform this wonderful building, City Hall, which is in perfect condition. It's as good as it was built a hundred years ago, converting it into Scotland's first fresh food market, catering for the whole country. There are many great fresh food markets in other parts of the British Isles, in Ireland, Wales, down south, and all over the world. Fresh food markets. We will rejuvenate the city centre of Perth by rejuvenating this great building. So this is a wonderful opportunity today and tomorrow here at the Perth Show. I'm now joined by Gillian, who's an active member of the Federation of Small Businesses. Hi Gillian, welcome to Perth's show today. Thank you. And uh, tell us all about what's going on inside this brilliant big marquee here. Well, um, we've decided as a branch that we wanted to have a presence at Perth's show. Um, and we used to organise trade fairs um, for members as well. And we suddenly had an idea of putting the two together. And it gives small businesses a great opportunity to come along to the Perth's show who couldn't afford to take a big stand. So we hire the marquee and we then rent out pitches for the businesses at a very reduced rate. I mean, it's just a, a nominal cost and it helps cover the cost of the pitch. Walter Wiley, immediate past chairman of Perth Show. Uh, this year we're uh, on a new site. We've had one or two teething problems, but uh, hopefully everybody has agreed that we've conquered it. 
and we're going to have a meeting in 10 minutes time with the uh, councillors to try and hold the show here permanently. Uh, it's a, a bigger area and everybody, exhibitors and that, seem to enjoy where we are. Uh, we thank everybody for sh coming to the show, especially the exhibitors and the public of Perth and surrounding. And I uh, hope you, everyone's had a successful day and see you again next year.